Will Fort Wayne police be forced to use body cameras? Three city council members say they should, and they've drafted an ordinance to make them. Democrat Sharon Tucker and Michelle Chambers and Republican Russ Yale authored that ordinance. They say that body cams add a valuable evidence collection tool for officers, and they're standard in many similar sized cities. Documents call for an initial trial by the end of this year. At least 100 officers equipped with the devices by next year and all officers using body cams by the end of 2022. If Fort Wayne PD fails to meet the milestones, the ordinance would restrict the department from pursuing an increase in its budget. And no doubt that will be talked about during the first meeting of the new Commission on Police Reform and Racial Justice, the meeting set for tomorrow morning. Jeff Newmeyer is live downtown with more on what could come of the effort, Jeff. Yeah, Brian, uh, you know, uh, organizers of protest groups and other interested people, well, they are uh, expecting changes in city police po policies and procedures to be enacted from the work of this commission that will uh, hold meetings uh, inside Citizen Square down below me here. Police departments across the country have been under fire since protests erupted on the heels of the death of George Floyd up in Minnesota. In Fort Wayne, a city law enforcement riled demonstrators in late May when on a few occasions police in riot gear deployed tear gas, pepper spray, and rubber bullets against protesters who blocked traffic and at times damaged public and private property downtown. The commission was formed in part to make sure police are not overstepping authority in dealings with protesters and citizens during everyday interactions. The commission's chairperson says in the 1990s in Fort Wayne, a similar task force took a deep dive into police policies and behaviors following complaints nationally about abuse of power leading to things like uh, a uh, police take-home car policy and community-oriented policing. Community rallied, Rodney King happened, so there was your um, police commission there. So some good things came out of that police commission. So fast forward a couple of decades, we're back here again. Some things I believe we already got in place, but to make sure that we got it in place, we want to look into the background of each one of those points. I'm just using the chokehold, for instance. If we have something in there already in place, let's do an investigation, make sure that those uh, implementation has been uh, committed. Now, what Commission Member Larry Gist is talking about there, a number of policies about uh, use of force that the city police are supposed to be obeying now. Chokeholds are off limits, for instance. Officers are told, don't shoot unless you or another person's life is in danger and you've exhausted all other alternatives first. The police reform panel may do uh, some in-depth analysis to ensure those kinds of restraints on use of force are being practiced now. The uh, commission figures to spend time getting organized tomorrow, but also then will be uh, carrying on for uh, several months, we believe, with the goal of uh, making sure problems get addressed, Brian, rather than getting swept under the rug. Thank you, Jeff. And we should say that meeting is closed to the public. The city tells us that's because of COVID-19 concerns. And we know uh, City TV will record the meeting. They'll play it back later in the week, but it will not be live streamed like other meetings are. Jeff, thank you.